Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you are in or whatever time you might be watching this. Welcome to the Wix Online meeting number seven. As I was saying earlier to the guys online, welcome to February 2014. Still feels a little bit weird that it's already February. Um, not much in the agenda. So just triage and then we'll go over questions, comments. We've got kind of a small turnout, so I'm not sure we'll have much, but who knows? Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that were unable to make it. And so be sure, you know, you keep that in mind as we go through. Um, since there's nothing else, I guess we're going straight to triage. Right, Bob? Ready? Good for me. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Triage, triage, triage. Refresh. All right, five bugs. Um, we're start still starting at the top, correct? Sure. Oh, man. And again, I lose the mouse cursor. Amazing. Anyway. Linker giving problem. Well, that's descriptive. Uh, using major versions, product version dot major doesn't work, huh? Yeah, this is actually, it's, it's a little weird. And oh, unfortunately, the, the reporter oh, changed the bugs. Um, the error code. Undefined preprocessor variable. Well, of course. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. This this is a second attempt. This is this is keyboard mashing. Um, the bug. <laughs> the reason I kept the bug open is that um, in the original screenshot, and here some actual text would have been handy. Um, the bug that's reported is unknown bind time variable or whatever the actual wording is, but it's. It's actually the entire product name. I repro I repro the original bug, which is all right. So let's get rid of this bug. Let's open that bug and move on, because this is a this this is doesn't make any sense. Oh, I mean this doesn't help. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get rid of this bug, and if you found a bug that this helped you find, fantastic. Let's get it open, and we'll move forward. That works. All right. Uh, I don't have a lot of patience for crazy bugs. All right. Patch creation documentation. Was it wrong? I would like documentation. Oh, it's a feature request for documentation. Sure, we could take that in 3x. Okay. Sure, if someone wants to write that documentation, I'm, we would totally take it. That'd be fantastic. I don't right. know, is this a real thing that people do anymore, though? Uh, well, <laughs> there's a feature request. If someone wants to do it, they could do it. I'm, I'm totally for it. And look, here's something that someone has explicitly asked for in documentation. No, I understand. I'm just, I'm just saying, is, is this something that someone should spend time working on? Um, I, I, if, it's if you fine. learn, it's if you use it to learn patching, and you wrote it down, you'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to use this to learn patching and all that kind of stuff. Sure, right? I mean, okay. I, on that end, yeah. That's fine. I mean, we could say, you know, nobody's ever going to fix this, but I don't know. Well, no, no, no. I, sorry, no, no, I'm, I'm specifically asking whether, you know, people create such open-ended patch chains. It's like... Oh, I oh, sorry, that particular that. feature. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. well, we could write a documentation that says don't do that if you do something like that, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I'm, we have the, zero the, guidance right now. Adding guidance wouldn't hurt. Yep, yep, exactly. Wix... 3.9 is logging errors when using product search and a match isn't found. Yeah, this is uh, this is actually just some inconsistent use of H results. Oh, that's too bad. So we should fix yeah. that. Because error, error messages and log files should be good, otherwise we'll get beat up for it later. Like this. Yeah. I'll actually take this book. All right. If you got that far into it, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, always verify hash of payload. This is the bug that's still assigned for me. Um, I haven't done that yet. I have to write the blog entry and all that kind of stuff. So right, right. Uh, I need to get that done. Yes, right. More and more. Oh, seriously, we're doing this option to hide burn no, entry again. Someone open, reopen the bug or re-triaged the bug. I don't understand why. This would be mean that we could move to burn. We have too many customers that use automated deployments that only take MSIs, MSPs, and not XEs. I don't understand. 
then you're deploying the MSI's MSPs, not the XDs. So why does it need burn have to hide its entry? Right. That yes. <laughs> um, well, we're still not doing this, right? I mean, it was a, it, it was open in four X. It was open in four X. Why did they triage it? I guess I, I'm not doing this. Ugh, fine. I don't know why they marked it tri untriage then. Um, I wonder, should we? No. All right, so I guess we just put it back in open. Yeah. So I let's add a comment just so when they come back and go, my bug wasn't answered, we could say, the bug is open, it's waiting for someone to actually work on to implement it. Or what we say for those kinds of things. And that just leaves the bug. And we're going to end up with another bug open. That all right? So let's go back to the first one because I didn't quite understand. Can I actually use arrow keys? No, just tap. What's the actual major minor gives product version to three decimals? But there's a problem. I've attached image here. Image seriously? To yeah, error I message. Know. The problem is he changed the image. Originally, um, I'm probably not going to be able to pull up the sample. Originally, the image. Oh, there's um, a comment. Is it the commented outline below it? No. Oh, yes. Oh, good. At least you did that. Find property product version dot major. Okay. The error indicated that the bind time variable it couldn't find was spreadsheet converter bang bind property blah blah blah. Oh. That was just bizarre. Yeah, that's not right. And interestingly, the same syntax causes the same errors going back 37 36 35 oh all right so some parsing thing is going wrong in the wix resolver yeah yeah there's there's definitely something wrong there all right so we'll take that in well we'll take that in 3x unless someone i mean right i mean yeah i think if you open the at. bug i think we could triage that as yeah that's a bug someone should get yep. that yep um all right. So yeah, I think we can skip triage on that bug. Skip triaging that bug and move straight into uh, the future. All right. So at that point then, all right. Awesome, Bob. Moving quickly. So we just have then 4243, which requires me to uh, write some things and juggle some stuff around and do something different for the hashing and the signatures and all that kind of stuff. And eventually that bug will go away and we'll have some other answer to it. So, cool. I guess we're done with triage then. Yep. This is so nice. It's nice that we did all that work last year and got all that nice and clean. And now we're in this, yeah, you know, what was that triage? Ten minutes? Not even. Not even. Eight? All right. So that means it's time for everybody else to come on out and have questions or comments. Otherwise, we're going to have a 15-minute uh, meeting, which I'm not against. If that's what we have, it's what we have. Um, we have a lot of stuff going on the mailing list right now, which is great, discussions about different things and different ways of doing stuff. So uh, that's all good. Um, yeah, it might be interesting to discuss the... Um, pick one. <laughs> yeah, true. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Um, discuss the move idea of moving put it that way of moving to github yeah yeah i was gonna i didn't get a chance to write some notes on this so it's just been this debate because we moved from off of sourceforge because sourceforge is just degrading in a major way to codeplex and that was back when microsoft had the copyright on wix and microsoft you know most of the people working on wix or at microsoft and you'd always get these questions from people like you know Soma, who runs Visual Studio, why isn't Wix on CodePlex? It should be on CodePlex. That's why we have CodePlex. It should not be on SourceForge. It should be on CodePlex. So um, when CodePlex finally got around to using Mercurial, we moved from uh, SourceForge to CodePlex and we're Mercurial, and that was all great. And then a year later, Mercurial, or less than a year later, I guess, Mercurial was losing um, in a big way, and Git, they added Git to CodePlex, so we moved to Git 
and somewhere along the line in that transition or something, it seems that our lined endings are seriously forked. At least that's what I'm seeing when I try to do integrates between 3.9 and 4. Line endings start moving around everywhere, and diffs are a pain. And then we also get the big, huge walls of red and green from people, and it's just bad. So um, we're now on CodePlex. They have a release system that's served us well because they can count the download numbers, and I think we've had our downloads there for quite a while because SourceForge's downloads were bad. It had advertising and all kinds of bad stuff in there, so we're at Coplex, and their download numbers are great. We investigated moving to GitHub once just as a, well, could we? And they didn't have releases, or they actually removed them. Um, and we're like, well, we can't move to GitHub without releases because we have, oh, geez, gobs and gobs and gobs of data that's downloaded, and nobody's paying for that bandwidth right now, and I'm not sure that we'd want to pay for the bandwidth that isn't when it's freely available for these things. So then GitHub brought releases back. Um, Bruce bringing up Bitbucket. Yeah, I appreciate the Bitbucket vote, but Bitbucket isn't going to go anywhere. <laughs> so um, CodePlex hasn't advanced beyond what they're at. In fact, it looks like they're even slowing down to less than they are now. Um, and so GitHub somewhere in the last, I don't know, six months or something, I don't know, uh, brought back releases, which was cool, but releases are missing the download counts. And we actually use the download counts to know what people are getting. It's very useful for us. For example, we did that whole take the uh, XE and put it into a zip file and put it on Coplex, and that has 500 downloads or something like that, which was actually good to know that 500 people actually used that thing that we thought was useless, um, not just like two people. So we'll probably have to think about keeping it around or whatever. But that information was useful. Um, and I don't know that GitHub's bringing that back. They might. Some people said they've seen that they are going to. Um, it's just a matter of when. Which means, um, so we, we keep looking at GitHub because they keep advancing. They keep doing features. They keep doing things that look that are nice, that look exciting, that we could use. Uh, for example, one of the big features that they allow you to do is um, I've already created a Wix tool set group organization, I think is what they call them, um, because I want to have the name. Um, and so we have the name, it's empty, but the nice thing is that you can then group a whole bunch of repositories under one umbrella. And so we could, instead of what we do today, where we have all of our stuff in one CodePlex repository with different branches, even though they're wildly disparate, we could actually create separate repos. For example, the website could move into the site repo underneath the Wix umbrella, which means that you wouldn't have to switch to a branch inside. I mean, it works fine in CodePlex, but that would be nice. Um, and um, the other thing we could do, which I was thinking about, which we should debate whether it's the right organization or not, is we could actually have separate repositories for major versions. So we could have a three repository and a four repository, because um, we already just you know pull changes across. They don't have to be in the same repository. Um, that might make it easier for people to go, oh, cool, I want to enter at 3, and I want to enter at 4. And they're so wildly different that we could just do that. Um, or not. We can make them one. doesn't make a difference. Uh, things like that. We also then could investigate things. I, I don't remember who brought it up. It was Neil or Bruce or someone brought up the idea that we could start breaking extensions out and have them run on their own timeline, potentially, where you could have you know, the IS extension get pulled out as a separate repo, and then it could move, and then just keep up with the Wix release as it goes. You know, we could do things like that. Um, where CodePlex doesn't look like it's going to be easy to do that. I mean, we can just keep branches and branches and branches, and which I guess works. So anyway, there's a number of interesting features on GitHub, um, and the releases thing. Eric brings up the point that you know it seems. He believes that GitHub is storing the data. They're just not presenting it, which is fine. Um, but you know, we could, if we wanted to, keep our releases on CodePlex, move our source code to GitHub until the day that we can move releases. And we've done worse things with our move from SourceForge to CodePlex, I think. So um, I wouldn't disagree with that. So I, I'm not like I, I'm I'm not wholly against that. It's just a question of. Should we go to GitHub? Um, I, you know, always worry a little bit about um, monocultures. You know, where you end up with just one person and nobody else is keeping up. However, um, nobody else is keeping up <laughs> with GitHub at this point. Um, 
a lot of things like, the, for example, a tiny little feature that would make our lives really, really nice. The ability to edit a file online in the web browser and then take a, a pull request and all that kind of stuff would be great for just adding comments or tweaking a whip. Right? None of this pull down, move it around, and push it back, and send pull requests, and all that kind of stuff. It's just like, go and edit, say, yes, I've edited this file, send the pull request, and have that just get accepted. So they have little features like that that they're doing that's, um, um, uh, that's <sighs> handy. <laughs> I don't have a better term for it. It's just kind of like, you know, that would make life a little better. And CodePlex... Is it there? Um, Codeplex diffing has turned out to be atrocious. Uh, Bob I and I are complaining this. about this every time we get into it. It's just like, oh god, I can't use this tool to do it. <laughs> it's just, it's slow. It's painful. I just, I, I'm better off pulling the whole pulling down and then reviewing it locally. So anyway, it's a whole bunch of reasons that we could move to GitHub um, from Codeplex and basically slowly shut down Codeplex as. GitHub brought on the remaining features. And, you know, honestly, I could do the bandwidth numbers. Now that, you know, we have Fire Giant, and maybe the download numbers aren't as bad as I think they are, or I don't know, um, we might be able to just pull the hosting on the Wix toolset.org and go, you know, the cost isn't that bad. Um, I haven't run numbers, and um, we could go, yeah, you know, we can handle the download numbers for all this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. It, it, seems, it seems silly, you know, given that there are so many options there, even if they're not perfect. Um, because I suspect it's, it's you know, it's pretty substantial. I mean, maybe not if, if I don't know, I, I guess it's hard to say what the numbers are for for something like Azure. Cause I know they're not bad. For the cost? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, just the cost. Yeah, I, I just haven't tried. Yeah, math is math is hard in the morning. Um, Gitorious, Git hosting, collaboration software you can install yourself. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, <laughs> so that's so like GitHub Enterprise. They have the same, you know, behind the firewall thing. I see. Although that's expensive. Um, they host too. So what do they do? They just do all the online hosting for you. Oh, I see. XPMC, yeah. QT, OpenSUSE are the big guys on here. Mm. Um, and, yeah, it's just pricing is interesting. They have free or... Um, <sighs> open source for free. Free for open source. Well, I guess it's another thing to, to consider. Um... I've had some people that request the whole GitHub because it has a lot of the um, um, social connection type stuff and other projects on there and things like that. Um, yeah, yeah. So, which I, I I I can appreciate. I mean, I've seen some of them working for some other projects, and they're not they're kind of nice what they kind of do. So, um, anyway, so uh, it's just a debate of moving off of Codeplex um, and. And I, oh, and then at the same time, the other part of that debate is, uh, do we cut our history um, due to the line-ending mess that is our history? And quite honestly, if you go back, our history is atrocious. It's just atrocious as you go back farther and farther and farther. It's just really, really bad. Um, and it, due to all kinds of crazy stuff, honestly, a lot of it mistakes I made in Mercurial um, that got transferred into Git, that we could just cut it, make a nice clean break, and then run from there. Well, the nice thing about the org idea on GitHub is that you could pull that repo over for history, so it's in multiple multiple locations and safe. Oh. Yeah, and that's true. We could start breaking out the uh, uh, the repos according to whatever major model. version, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, they do major version or separate extensions or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, fortunately, the nice thing is that now that we're in Git. Moving history is trivial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like when we were moving from CVS where I went, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, what do I do? Um, anyway, so that's kind of the background in long, you know, expository form. Sorry, I have a cold. I'm not able to talk quite right. But um, 
that well, I guess I'll point people at the mailing list to say, here, here's my thoughts on it. I don't, I don't know which way to go, and I don't have strong enough opinions to pull the trigger on anything right now. Um, so I'm just kind of like sitting in the status quo. We're just doing what we're doing now. Um, thing, and so yeah. I, I'm I'm looking for some people to kind of go. You know, these these benefits would be good enough that we should do the work to do it. And I guess that's what I'm looking for out there. Um, I think you and I agree that the pull request functionality on CodePlex is unpleasant, um, but that primarily affects you and me, not a lot of other people yet. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm kind of like. I'm, I'm, I mostly don't care, to be honest, other than I think we might get that nice uh, pull request functionality. Um, the the rest of the, the GitHub stuff I don't particularly care about, and it's, you know, it's a bit too hip for, for me. But, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm willing to play along. It's hip to be square, Bob. Um, yeah, well, I got one of those down. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's kind of the... That's that's that process. I I I think we'll go back to the mailing list because we don't have enough people here on the call today uh, to kind of like get any kind of quorum vote. But we're actually getting close to a lot of contributors showing up pretty regularly, which is kind of nice. So I will I will send the thing. Well, we I started on the mailing list. I didn't see it push. No, oh, there's a couple. No, there's a couple things this morning, right? Where a couple people are like, yeah, we should do it, and we should do it now. I think that's what Blair voted for. So yeah, that, well, that was the other bit. Is I, I just raised it for the question of whether we should move, you know, try to hit a date or or a release date, or just go based on, uh, you know, oh well, now. Yeah. Kind of now better than later. I guess that's kind of what it is. And yeah. then the only thing we have to do is decide how do we want to structure our new world as we start taking it apart and putting it together over in the new world. Um, that's my biggest concern. Um, a move where we want to do something radical that's going to take some effort, and that's yeah, that could... it's just more time that I have to spend on a lot of these things usually. Um, but that I, it's not too bad. I've gotten good enough at most of this stuff. I could, I think, I could do most of it. If we do when we do the clean break of history, I don't think it's any harder than delete the Git directory and then add it again. Oh yeah. Well, no, I guess I'm I'm thinking more like if we actually did something like break out the extensions. Oh, oh, that's a longer-term thing. We don't have enough yeah. infrastructure to make that work right now. That's a much okay. harder problem. Um, that, that's a much harder problem to do. Um, we need a lot of things to change before we do that. Um, but anyway, so that's the the thinking on, or the current thinking on Git. Um, I will point people on the mailing list to this. I will get this uploaded right away and point people to it and say, look, there's a 15-minute discussion on <laughs> GitHub at minute 10 or so. You know, you can skip triage, go straight to that, and um, we'll talk about that. And maybe I'll send that. People can read about it, and maybe we'll talk about it again next week um, or whatever we want to do if people are actually interested in talking about it. Otherwise, if people keep going, eh, you know, whatever, or if people are like, no, no, we should definitely do it, we can go from there. Um, let's see. Um, I think that's that's all I've got today. Um, please keep moving. I, looks like Jacob's default value may get his thing in a 3x. Um, I'm surprised that works. I am too. Um, I don't think it works in COM, but it may work because we're not really COM. We're just using it as an interface between the two layers. And right, so right. it's basically just C++ and it works. Yeah. Um, that's so good I'm, for 3x. Right, yeah. And it's just completely good for 3x. And then in 4, we'll get rid of it and you right, just right. yeah, it'd be all good. Um, I don't know what else is out there. Uh, people are just kind of moving their way through stuff. Yeah. Any anyone with uh, like Sean? Are you? Are are we up to date with where we've been There's a talking about your that, ideas? Yeah, we have a I have a pull request from him that I haven't done yet, but. Yep. Um, okay. But that's I I know about it. My Mondays through Wednesdays are busy, so I have trouble keeping up with Wix devs. All right, cool. He's still working on the secure oh. zero memory stuff, so that's good because I'm right. still not sure how that works, but I'm curious to see what comes of it. Um, all right, cool. 
I think that's all we got. So we're going to call it at a half hour. That seems like a good one, right? Not bad for a, it's kind of what we're thinking we get to, right? Half hour meetings. Um, I'm okay with 15 minute meetings if really everything's going along and humming on the mailing list and all that kind of stuff. So um, this is really supplemental. We don't have to have tremendous amounts of content covered in the online meetings. We just want to get through triage and then discuss anything that's out there. So on that note, I release you all back into the world to go and wreck the havoc that you might wreck in the source code that we all work on together, which means go out and write awesome, cool stuff. Um, on that note, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.